also happens to be the very first brand new Marlowe I ever offloaded back in early 2012 or late 2011. I believe she's had three owners. Her current owner's owner for about five years, and they're looking at potentially downsizing. And uh, what we're going to do is get you behind the scenes today, uh, get the birds up in the air, have some fun out here in the Manti River, and head back into Marlowe Marine at the high tide mark so we can get in. We're going to do some photos, some drone shots, some slow running, some fast running. So, cruised up from South Florida yesterday in this boat, cruised about 20, 21 knots most of the day, uh, somewhere less than 80% load, uh, seas two to three feet, everybody was comfortable, it was a great day, um, and it's something that um, you can tell with this boat that I want you to understand, this has been loved by all of its owners, it really shows, the boat is in near boat show condition already, uh, it's very well maintained, you can tell it's been loved, and it's something I'd like you to come see in person. slow speed cruising. Uh, we're cruising about seven knots right now, 700 RPM, burning, uh, what are we burning? Like nothing for fuel. <laughs> it's almost making fuel right now. It says three gallons per side. Um, we've got a drone up in the air and uh, we had a helicopter just fly right over us. So some interesting things occurring today. It looks, if you look right ahead, Tina, we got another Marlowe Explorer popping out in front of us. Uh, it looks like they were anchored out last night.
go and I'll wave at them as we go by. Um, say hello. So again, we're just running slow. Uh, probably, you know, five, ten minutes of this. You're going to get pictures, going to get video footage. And once we get out in Tampa Bay or Terracia Bay, we're going to pick it up, run fast, and uh, show you what she'll do. A couple of my favorite things about this 61 Marlowe uh, that I've learned after running it for somewhere over a thousand nautical miles are the use of space downstairs. We've got two huge staterooms. This could be, you know, a three stateroom vessel. Um, and, it, and it is in that there is a berth over the uh, laundry area. But what we did is we maximized the VIP, the VIP head, and the master stateroom to have a full beam master stateroom and a very large VIP area. Because most people with a boat like this would be a husband and wife or a, a couple or two couples to go uh, cruising down on. Again, my name is Eric Gervais with Marlow Marine. We are the experts. We can be reached at 1-800-362-2657 or give us an email, sales at marlowmarine.com. Hope to see you in the water soon.